Hi, welcome to the White or White Guys show. I've got a cat in my lap, and I don't know if that's going to become an issue or not. But today, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to review the movie Cuffs, which came out in 1992, starring Christian Slater, Mila Jovovich, who's all, Leon Rippey is in this, Bruce Boxlitter, Tony God, Godwin, who's a really good actor, been in a bunch of stuff. Ashley Judd is in this. Oh, my God. Hold on. I mentioned just a few other people. And Troy Evans. i got to give a shout-out to Troy Evans. Been in a whole slew of stuff. When you see him, if you remember anything about the 80s and the 90s at all, Troy Evans was in it. You know, and you got to love some Troy Evans. So the story begins. It follows a guy named George Cuffs. K-U-F-F-S. And George is... Wikipedia. Uh, he's in his early 20s. He's a high school dropout, a loner, a bum. Not a bad guy, but, you know, he's got all these cockamamie schemes, these quick rich schemes that he's trying to be part of, um, and he's going nowhere with his life. Conversely, his brother Brad is uh, what's called a patrol special, and this is in the city of San Francisco, and so you have cops run of the mill, the black and white cops, and then you have patrol specials. And they're like security guards, and a bunch of different companies will hire a service to basically at night come check the doors, make sure things are locked, watch out for crime. And um, instead of being a security guard at one location, they have cars, they roam around, uniforms, guns, um, but they don't do investigations, serve warrants, stuff like that parking tickets, speeding. Um, they just check the businesses and imagine maybe homes or something and just watch out for crime. So it's just an added layer of protection that businesses pay a service. Um, and as the film is getting going early on, crime, I'm petting a cat, by the way. I don't know if you can tell if it matters. Um, crime in the area is, is picking up. And Brad Cuffs, the patrol special, Christian Slater's brother, is flexed for staff. And his, his, uh, his, his customers are complaining about the crime. He's trying to do something about it. At the same time, his brother George, played by Christian Slater, George Cuffs, uh, comes to him for a loan as part of the scheme, some kind of thing in Brazil, or whatever it was. And uh, his brother's like, look, and, and instead of doing this jackass shit you're doing, Come work for me, and you can troll by night and go through the um, the training uh, by day, and then work for me by night, rather, uh, to be a patrol special or go into law enforcement. I forget what he was going to do. Um, that night, his brother goes to church to pray before going on his routes, and he is killed by a guy... And I'm going to try to... He's killed by Leon Rippey. Leon Rippey's uh, character, whose name is Kane. George, uh, George Cuffs, Christian Slater, happens to wander in in that moment and witnesses not the murder, but he sees Kane with the gun. Kane drops the gun. He's got a very ominous, I just did this look on his face. And then he scrambles. When Christian Slater goes to the police, after his brother is taken to the hospital, his brother eventually dies from his wounds he says this is the guy this guy Kane he's the guy that killed my brother as he and um Troy Evans who plays the police captain are getting into the um elevator they see Kane Christian Slater they goes that's the guy who killed my brother the district attorney says wait you didn't actually see the shooting you didn't actually see this guy shoot your brother he goes no but he's the guy who did it and the district attorney says, here's what's going to happen. He's going to say he saw body lying there, picked up the gun, saw you, thought you were the gunman coming back, and he took off. I can't prove a murder here. I don't have the evidence. Which is thin because there's a little thing called ballistics and the gun residue from the, the, the blast that gets on your hand. And they could have looked and they would have gotten this guy. But it's not that kind of movie. So Cuffs... K-U-F-F-S, came out in 1992. It's an action-y police drama with 
a light-hearted feel to it, a comedic feel to it. Not a straight comedy, not a straight action film. It's a blend of comedy, police drama, and action. And it's fun. It's a fun movie. Um, you can't take it wholly seriously, but it's an enjoyable little action film from the early 90s. Um, so, Cuffs, there's a lot of details. He decides to take his brother's job out of um, honoring his brother, but he wants to cap catch the bad guys. That's his sole motivation. He doesn't want to be a patrol special. He doesn't care about the business. He doesn't care about the property owners or the staff of uh, patrol specials, handful of patrol specials that uh, work for his brother. He just wants to get the bad guys, and being a patrol special is the only way to do that. Problem is, you have to graduate high school. And George Cuffs didn't. It's coming up. So, again, Troy Evans, who plays the police captain, comes to see Cuffs and says, look, you got a handful of money left to your your company. By this point, a couple of people had offered to buy the business. And he says, I'm just here to keep you out of trouble so you, you, know, you don't get killed or something in the two or three weeks you're going to be doing this before you're flat broke and have to sell the company. So, uh, Troy Evans assigns Tony Goldwyn's, I think I'm saying that right, G-O-L-D-Y-W-Y-N, who plays Ted Burkowski, who's a, a cop who is sleeping with the hot wife of the police chief. And uh, the chief found out, and Burkowski's on um, getting punished for it. He's on some, I forget what, what it was what the situation is. So he's straddled the cuffs because he's on, sus not suspension, something else. Like if, if he screws up, again, he gets suspended. he screws up again, he's going to get fired from his job as a cop. And so Burkowski has to hang out with George Cuffs and go check, you know, the, the doors to make sure they're locked at night and do boring ass police special work instead of being a proper cop. He's not happy about this. However, cuffs keeps under, un uncovering, the bad guys and what they're up to. So on top of um, Leon Rippey, who plays Kane, he's got a best buddy who's the main bad guy. And I am a guy because Sam Jones, played by George De La Poigna. Sam Jones is like a crooked businessman who sells stolen art goods, stolen art paintings, makes a fortune doing that. And he makes an offer to Cuffs to buy the service to basically keep the cops off the bad guys' back while they, um, you know, they go and terrorize the uh, the local business owners. He's trying to drive off the legitimate business to replace it with corrupt business and make a fortune doing it. Um, and from there, you have the local townsfolk and the uh, patrol specials and the cops and such. And so Ted and Cuffs. Go looking for the bad guys. Mila Jovovich, who's... Oh, God. Oh, this is 1992. Mila Jovovich. Hot. Hot, 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 hot. Is Cuff's girlfriend. Uh, they end up breaking up, of course. Young love. Cuff's wants to go avenge his brother. She wants a more serious relationship with somebody else. At one point, Cuffs get, gets called to a suicide. There's a guy up on a, on a ledge. He's going to jump. Cuffs goes to try to talk the guy down, does a shit job of it because he has no idea what he's doing. But then the guy comes around the corner and goes, you're a cop? And he goes, yeah, have a seat. And the guy pulls out a gun and shoots him in the in the abdomen. And it, it goes through a chair and it goes through his flashlight. So it wounds him, but it doesn't kill him. He's in the hospital. Mila Jovovich shows up. They start patching things up. That's hanging in the air. And then Cuffs goes after the bad guys. He So Ted Bukowski, the cop, doesn't believe him at first and just wants to do his job and not get fired. Um, but little by little, they become buddies and they start uncovering a crime. Ends up in a bunch of shootout towards the end of the film. That's the movie Cuffs. And I won't ruin it for you. But the bad guys kill the... The good guys kill the bad guys and Cuffs gets his, girl, gets his girlfriend back together. Gets to get back together with George Milovich. You know that's going to happen... What makes this film fun, because um, it is, it's, it's, it's standard in a lot of way. It's a, a standard cop movie from the early 90s, but they're kind of playing with that. The film is playing with those tropes, um, 
and the interactions between Tony Tony Goodwin, God Good Goodwin, Goodwin, and Christian Slater, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, and you know, there's at one point one of the patrol specials who's a bigger, brighter guy. He wants to buy the service and run it himself. And so Christian Slater says, okay, let's fight for it. And then a guy's like getting ready to beat his ass. And the lady's like, he was a boxing champion three years in a row. And then Christian Slater's, okay, let's go. And he walks up to him and kicks him in the groin. And then a few scenes later, the guy's like on the phone. He's like, I'm following the bad guys like you said, boss. And then he puts the ice pack in his groin. He's like, we're almost there. You've seen that done before, but it's it's fun. It's lighthearted. It's fun. Um, cuffs. I you gotta see it. Like there's one point Troy Evan comes to the, is uh goes to uh Tara is one of the local business owners, Mr. Yang or some kind of thing, and then Cuffs comes up to him and Troy Evans, no not Troy Evans, Leon Rippey had paid him like twenty grand to look the other way. And then when Cub shows up and does his job, he's like, come here for a second to the bad guy. And he's like, I got it. Before we do this, there's a question I've been meaning to ask you for a long time. Where do you buy your clothing? And the dude's always got some weird outfits on. So it's the standard tropey cop movie, but they're they're playing with that. They're having fun with that. So it's like you, you want, you, you're sitting at home, you're watching a standard trope cop movie, and you go, they're so serious, it'd be funny. You know, man, I'd love to ask the villain about his outfits because they're crazy. So they wrote that in there. And it's Christian Slater at the height of Christian Slater hysteria. And um, it's fun. It's a fun cop movie. Don't take it too seriously. Enjoy yourself on the ride. Um, there's a lot of little errors in this. Like the, there's a shootout, shootout on a rooftop. And at one point, uh, Christian Slater's like, the bad guy starts getting away Sam Jones. So Christian Slater goes to take off after him. He's like, cover me. And he starts running. Everybody's got Uzis. They're blasting away. He gets about 10 feet. He comes back running. He goes, you call that coverage? And he's like, I told you to wait. As he's like, you know, this time run, and he's loading his pistols, then he comes back up, and it's, the, it's open. And so it's like, that's an empty pistol. That's an empty uh, Beretta or Glock or whatever he had. So it's like there's little editing things like you just reloaded that. Now it's empty again before you fight a shot. You, you have to ignore that stuff. At one point, a guy gets shot and it's an obvious blood pack. As he's jumping up on the roof of a van, you can see the blood pack in his shirt. Um, stuff like that. But it's a pros. It's so it's a flawed, goofy cop action comedy movie. Very loaded, uh, very lethal weapon, but mixed with loaded weapon if you saw the film. The pros outweigh the cons. It's fun. Don't take it too seriously. Munch some popcorn, drink a beer, uh, cold soda. Do what you do. Strawberry ice cream is my thing. It's enjoyable. So check out Cuffs from 1992 and Christian Slater and Tony Godwin. Goldwyn, Troy Evans and others. And uh, have yourself a good time. So that's the White White Guys show. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Check me out on Twitter, Minds, Gab. I think that's it. And then I post in other places. And if you're feeling uh, frosty, you can uh, check me out on uh, Patreon, PayPal. Throw me a fiver. I'd love you for it. And uh, help me get over the coof. So, see you in the next video. Cheers.